Good morning, friends. I know you missed Krista and Keaton and Kennedy. Hopefully you missed me too a little bit. So Krista kind of explained how we're doing. I'm feeling a thousand times better. So funny last night. Krista, I don't remember where we were. Were we in bed already? And she was like, she got this like brave, bold idea. I don't even know if she was serious or not because um, technically we're not contagious anymore and our quarantine time is over. I want to go have breakfast. I think she was just having pregnancy cravings. I want to go have breakfast in the morning. That's, I want our day, uh, usually like Saturdays we go out to eat one somewhere. Um, that's going to be our one time in the morning. It's going to be in the morning. We're going to go have breakfast. <laughs> I was just kind of looking at her like, okay, whatever, crazy chick. <laughs> she got all sad. Wait can't go anywhere, they're all closed. <laughs> Sorry, wifey, I, I don't, we, we probably weren't gonna go anyway, um, but it was like, she was so excited. So anyway, I am on my way, to, I, to, I can do Target pickups too. I'm gonna pick up some orange juice and some fancy bread, and I'm gonna come home and make some French toast and serve my wifey French toast, and I got the good orange juice too, Simply Orange, not that cheap fake stuff. I got the good orange juice, so. It is so nice to be up in the morning and actually feeling good. So, yeah, got the good orange juice. Speaking of feeling good, got the good orange juice. And this, uh, if you can see it, Sara Lee Artesano uh, Golden Wheat Bread. One time I was doing a ship at Target and I couldn't find the bread the lady was looking for. And then I texted her and she's like, Oh, I'm making French toast. So the bread guy was there stocking the shelves and and I was like, what's good French toast bread? And he was like, this bread right here. So I have never forgotten. Uh, Krista, she likes wheat bread too for her French toast she told me before. Apparently if I wait long enough, I can entrust some help to make sure that the French toast gets made correctly. Are you showing me? Yeah. Oh, good morning everybody. Welcome to our vlog. Are you excited? <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am. Um, Shad was super sweet and got me the good orange juice, the Simply Orange orange juice. And out of all the things I'm not supposed to have with gestational diabetes, it's fruit juice. Like that can just make, make your blood sugar spike a lot. So I'm really thankful that he got it and I wish I could drink it, but I'm gonna be good and not, but I am gonna have some French toast. So would you be upset if we had, if I had orange juice? No. I'm gonna have some coffee with it, but yeah. right now, but it's okay. Yeah, but the funny thing is, is you can't even taste the French toast. Can you? Wait, you can't. Really um, taste. I can taste. Yeah, not like <laughs> mine. About like seventy percent. Oh, okay. Tasters. I think maybe mine is coming back sometimes. Like I can kind of smell some things, and the first couple bites of something, I can, I think I can taste it, but then it goes away or maybe it's just in my head and I'm expecting the taste but either way yeah Shad got I think he told you already got some good bread this is what the bread guy suggested. yeah yeah I told him <laughs> Let me go check. I think I hear it sizzling on the stove. I hear sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, you know, this is lunch, basically. It's 12 o'clock. I'm not telling them what time it is. Oh, yeah. I laid it, I stayed in bed till 11. Not sleeping, just playing Candy Crush. Relaxing. It was great, and our Christmas tree was on in our room. I was gonna make you breakfast. I don't mind. I have energy. Woohoo! Wait, Lynn, see your thumb. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you eat the heel? I love the heel on French toast. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Shad, Shad took over and... It's looking good. Yeah, that one. It looks fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> I want you to go eat. Okay. There is mine. I like mine a little bit uh, crispy. Yeah, I'm excited to eat it. Even though I can't taste it, maybe I will a little bit. And it'll be super yummy. So thank you, Shad. Welcome. <laughs> what do you think, Keaton? Is it good? Yeah. Whoa! You're gonna need another one, aren't you? I want two now. You do? 
So I'm curious, oh, we're all, I'm done, well, I'm done eating. Shad's still. I have like two bites left. Okay, but yeah, it was super good. FYI, we're vlogging on my phone because we can't find the camera. I just had it the other day when I edited the vlog. It's gotta be up in our room somewhere. Our room is kind of a mess. You know, when you're sick and things just start piling up in there, that's what's happening. But we're gonna head out in just a few minutes. We have to go pick up some groceries at Walmart. And then I placed two different Target orders for a couple of other things. I think there's a couple Christmas presents in there. We're gonna be home the rest of the day. So don't worry, we're being very careful. And um, we have been careful this whole time. So we still got it. <laughs> um, but uh, we have to rep presents. So this week on Thursday, Josiah is gonna be here for a few days, basically a super long weekend. And Kennedy is with her dad this Christmas. So we are celebrating our Christmas with them this coming weekend, which means mommy has a lot to do. Like a lot of presents I need to wrap. And I don't think we're gonna have time to bake a bunch of stuff, um, but we'll get some Christmas goodies. Actually, I have some from Walmart today and uh, we'll get a few more things from Costco. And I feel like we had all this time in December, but it's already getting away from me. And being sick didn't help because then you just can't, you know, don't feel good, don't have the energy to do things. So anyway, wrapping presents is definitely on the list for today. I have to get that done. All right. We're at Walmart, picking up our stuff. Okay, <laughs> we're coming to Target. You guys, it is so busy. It probably hey, took us hey. 10 minutes just to pull into this parking lot. So we have Target on this side over here and then Kohl's over here on this side. I haven't been into a Kohl's forever, but they're pretty busy. But this Target, wow. Well, and then there's a mall behind us. Yeah. With a Costco. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just not... Seattle doesn't have like the best layout Ugh, of, terrible. they try to cram a bunch of stuff into a very small space. So yeah. And this mall up here is huge and you can never find parking. And we're actually going there after Target to pick up uh, Cafe Rio. We are? You just told me and I just ordered it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, this guy looks like Joe Biden. No, we. Kind of. Mm, Younger version guy. of Joe. <laughs> Why are they in the road, dude? The... Hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> We're going to make it. Shad is so going to hit somebody. Well, if they wouldn't get out of the road. <laughs> okay, we're here to do our pickup. Okay, we are now at the mall. I just told Shad, oh, I see open spots. They have a uh, to-go order spots over here. And I was like, I bet people are parked there because why wouldn't you? Because it's like open parking. <laughs> but we're gonna have to have trouble getting in. You just have to put your blinker on. But Cafe Rio is right there. And we just need to get in right here so we can get into a to-go spot. Shad is so impatient, you guys. I am, because they're like, there's like enough space in front <laughs> of this car and they're just sitting there. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, Shad got our Cafe Rio. Do you want your appetizer? Yes. That sounds amazing. I don't know if you can drive and eat at the same time. Shad's driving is freaking me out. I mean, granted, traffic is ridiculous. Yeah, look at my knuckles. Yeah, your so white knuckles. I don't want to be in that lane because that goes to Walmart. And I don't want to be in that lane because the turn lane butts their butts out and blocks that lane up here. Yeah, it's kind of a nightmare all over this area where there's any big shopping centers. <laughs> You're freaking out. Just freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always worried when we get home from getting groceries because our driveway is on a slant and I just popped the trunk and we got really lucky. We almost lost some Prego. <laughs> oh, and, and Kennedy would have been mad. 
if we lost her uh, talk, about talk about hot sauce. sauce. Lots of groceries. <laughs> oh, for Christmas. Okay, we are home. That took a long time to run all over North Seattle area-ish to get our groceries, which I will show you in a, bit, in a minute. But first, we need to eat. So I got me, I got a salad from Cafe Rio. Of course, Kenneth, Keaton got, what'd you get? McDonald's. McDonald's. No, I call it McDonald's. And then Shad got... The sweet barbacoa burrito, enchilada style with green chili sauce. And I'm guessing in here is probably my dressing, my dressing, and this was gonna come on Shad's burrito, this pico, but he doesn't want it, so I got it on the side for myself. Are you starving? I'm to have my orders. Oh yeah, that's I right. Have yours. <laughs> of the uh, mini quesadilla. Yeah, he ordered himself an extra mini quesadilla. Why do you gotta tell him that? <laughs> it was, it's, it's, a, it's an hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres? Yeah, it's a hors d'oeuvres. Okay, let's eat and then we'll do a big grocery haul, yeah? Yeah. Okay, time to do this grocery haul. So really quickly, this is what I got from Target. We're starting to stock, stock up on, can't talk. We're starting to stock up on diapers. And we do have a big box of size one Huggies from Costco, but these Pamper Swaddlers, when they're newborns, oh, these are the best. So I didn't realize how small the package this was, but here's a good start for the baby. So we got that. This is Shad's favorite Christmas coffee. So it was actually, if you buy two, you saved like $7.00. So um, this was a really good deal from Target. They are the only place around that I could find these Clorox toilet one refills, so I got some of those. Um, I love these, this scent of the Method fragrance boosters. So I got another thing of these. And then I got this for Kennedy. She likes coffee. She actually likes decaf coffee, and this is the Target brand. So this is actually a Christmas present for her, and I can show this because she doesn't watch our channel, but she has started to open it um, to put it in the Keurig or K-cup holder. So we'll just let her know, like, it's brand new, promise. <laughs> All of the rest of this is from Walmart. This was actually a substitution. I ordered refried black beans and they substituted traditional instead, which is funny because I already have a great big can that I ordered from them today of traditional. So we might try to return these along with a couple of other things I will show you. Got some tortillas and two bags of marshmallows. These are for some Christmas holly cookies that we make every year. I got some Q-tips and I thought I was ordering like this big package of them. 170. I mean, that's still a lot, but I thought it was like a big box. No, it's just this tiny little thing, but it's okay. Um, I mean, they last forever. So then I got two different kinds of Christmas plates just to have for this next weekend. A lot of this stuff is actually like party food, you guys, for Christmas. This was a substitution they gave me. Let's see if I can get it out. I'm a little bummed because I had originally ordered some like steamable potatoes obviously just quicker to make on a busy work day. They were out apparently, so they substituted these, which is fine. They'll, they still cook quick and we will use them. And then also from Walmart, we got some red party cups, which I'm really the only one that uses these, but that's fine. We got some on the border tortilla chips. They did not have any Diet Sprite or Diet 7-Up, so I got the Walmart brand, Diet Twist Up. And to go with that, I got some Diet Cran Pineapple Juice. I was trying to look for some kind of festive drink to make, and so, I don't know, I thought this might be good together, so we'll give it a try. And we've all been loving Pringles lately a lot, so I got um, a package of barbecue Pringles. We needed more salad dressing, so I got some ranch and some Thousand Island. We got some Prego marinara sauce for some mozzarella sticks that we're gonna make on our Christmas Eve celebration. Taco Bell hot sauce, some food coloring. I really only needed green, 
but this is all they had. So then I got two packages of Taco Bell seasoning mix. Here's my big can of refried beans. So we might take that other one back because I don't, I don't know. I guess we always can use refried beans. Maybe we'll keep them, but got this for a bean dip I'm going to make. This was Keaton's request. She wanted this, Velveeta shells and cheese, plus a couple of the box mac and cheeses. I got two boxes of these cornflakes, and I really don't think I need two, so we might return one. These are for the holly cookies that I'm going to make. It's hard to tell when you're ordering online, like, I don't know, I'm not good at sizes. So this is, you know, one pound, I guess, one pound, two ounces, 18 ounce size. And for some reason, I just thought it was little, but it's a pretty good size box, so we don't need two of those. And this is some more party food, chicken and a biscuit, some sociable crackers, some Doritos. This was a substitution. I ordered the Great Value brand of the corn chips, but they were out, so they substituted Fritos. And then I got a bunch of cookies for our Christmas Eve celebration and just to kind of put out a fun cookie tray. So I got these Pepperidge Farm Verona strawberry cookies. This was a substitution. I had ordered the white fudge or white chocolate covered Oreos and they were out of those apparently. So they gave me two boxes of these fudge covered. Then they got some ginger snaps, these yummy pep Pepperidge Farm pirouette cookies. These are so good. The chocolate hazelnut. Oh yum. And then I got these. I thought these look Christmassy too. They'll just be fun sitting out on a tray. So red velvet chips ahoy cookies. These were a substitution that we're definitely not keeping. I had ordered a tin like, you know, it's the blue tin of the Danish butter cookies. Apparently they were out of that, so they substituted these. And these are nothing like butter cookies. So we don't even want to put these out. Like, if you like them, great. But that's not what we were going for. So Shaz said he would take these back. And just a few frozen things we got. We got some dino nuggets for the girls. Some Rhodes rolls to make some pull apart rolls next weekend. And we got some frozen corn, some hash browns for making um, potato soup. And we got some mozzarella sticks for our big party next weekend. Are you going to help mommy? I have a few refrigerated things left. Do you want to do those? Okay, let me get them out. Okay, Keaton, what's the last little bit that we have? We have some frozen. So first, we got some cheese. Nope, that's butter. Butter. Yeah. And then we got some um, lunch boxes. A lunchable. And then we got um, what is this? That's a cheese spread. Cheese Ooh. spread. Yeah, to go on like crackers. And then we got. Um, what do you think that's called? Pepperoni. Pepperoni is close. It's a summer sausage. Oh, summer sausage. Yeah. What's this stuff? Um, I don't know. This is cream cheese. Cream cheese. For the potato soup. And what's this? Whipped cream? <laughs> Whipped cream? Nope. It's yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. So I did order eggs as well, but apparently they were out of organic eggs. So we'll have to maybe stop at Fred Meyer really quick and get some eggs and dog food and oh there was something else they were out of but for the most part they had everything so this is our big haul and, and what are you gonna have a popsicle a popsicle it's, a, it's orange flavored yeah it's an outshine bar we've had those since the summer i'm glad you're eating them yum yummy 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 yum. all right you guys we are hauling it at night i forgot i had my mouth guard in you guys don't want to see that. So, anyway, Keaton just had a bath. She's laying here all clean and cozy, playing a little game with Daddy before it's bedtime. Called, it's called Tag with Ryan. Tag with Ryan. So, anyway, we hope you guys had a really good weekend. Just want to thank you all for your sweet comments. And just know that, um, you know, I'm under, like, the guidance of my doctor. I'm following his advice. We are not exposing people to this virus. We are being very very careful we wouldn't want anybody to get this so just know that okay i just hope that you have trust in us and yeah it's new territory but we're following every guideline that we would need to be following and anyway we have a busy week this week coming up with celebrating christmas and i have a bunch of doctor's appointments i have a lot of work so we will um try to put out vlogs as we can 
And I'm really just hoping after Christmas, after the new year, um, that we'll get back to our regular schedule, especially as we're gearing up for baby to come. There's a lot of things that um, I want to show you and we need to do. So that'll be fun. In the meantime, we will try to vlog as we can, what we can. Um, this week is just, yeah, busy. I also have school. It's my last week of school before Christmas break. Yay. Thanks so much for watching. We are so thankful for you all. Appreciate you all and hope that you had a great weekend. Thanks for watching. I hope you're going to have Christmas with us too.